Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing this Rembrandt watercolor brush. This is a size 8 series 100 brush made with pure Kolinsky hair. This brush is made by Royal Talents, a company based in the Netherlands. And these are the other watercolor brushes under the Rembrandt product line. Interestingly, I don't see a flat brush. This is a beautiful looking brush with a matte textured wooden body. The furrow is this brass or gold color. It's very classy. The main selling point, of course, is the Kolinsky Sable hair with its good water holding capacity, springiness, and its ability to maintain a very sharp point. Here's a comparison with other watercolor brushes I have. The first one at the top is the Rembrandt, where you can see the hair has a slightly larger belly. This second one here is the Winston Newton Synthetic. The point is not as sharp or as tapered compared to the Rembrandt brush. And this third brush here is the Da Vinci Cassano, which is also a synthetic brush. And it performs very similarly to the Winston Newton brush. And the last brush is the Silver Black Velvet. And this brush actually has a pretty sharp point. The silver black velvet is made with a mixture of synthetic and squirrel hair. The sharp point of the sable hair makes it easier to paint really thin lines and details. The brush has good spring to it, so you can go back to its sharp point very easily. You can get thin and thick line variations very easily. Just for comparison purposes, this is the Winsor Newton Synthetic Sable. This can produce pretty good line variation as well. There are people who don't like brushes made with animal hair, so it's really good to see there are very capable synthetic alternatives available to such as the Winston Newton Synthetic Sable and the Da Vinci Cassano which performs very similarly to the Kolinsky or the Sable hair brush. Unless you have different brushes side by side to compare, um, you probably may not notice the difference. By the way, the patchy look that you see here is due to the paper, not the brush. The strokes here were painted with the Rembrandt brush and it looks patchy here as well. It seems like there is some issue with this bottom portion of the paper. Alright, let's color this sketch that I have drawn. Unfortunately, I used Noodler's Bloodproof Black Ink to draw this. When I erased the pencil lines, the ink smeared even though I've left the ink to dry for a long period of time. Anyway, just avoid using noodleless bulletproof black ink for drawing because it takes a long time to dry and how waterproof it is will depend on the paper you use as well. Let's paint this very quickly. I hope this is waterproof. Right, it seems like the ink is waterproof. Thank goodness. This is me in case you can't recognize the lightness. I definitely used too much water there so let me just remove some of the water. Let's paint the table. So the sharp point is very useful when it comes to painting details and going into really tight spaces. This brush has good water holding capacity. It can hold a lot of water. Time for some finishing touches.
done. A Kolinsky brush is not really necessary for people with looser painting style because as mentioned earlier, nowadays synthetic sable brushes are really capable. However, if you do need a sharper point, at least you have the option. And the Rembrandt watercolor brush series 100 is a brush that performs really well. And it's a brush I can recommend very easily. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.